Teresa harvests her water from right here in Bulls Bay. So Teresa, tell me a little bit about this location that we're standing in. Yeah, so this is private property. It's some friends of mine own this land and allow me to access Bulls Bay from it. And we're here at a relatively low tide. So um, when the tide comes up, uh, when we get to that high tide, it covers the grass, creeps all the way up over to where you can see the truck and the trailer, and that's where I like to collect the water. I like it that the water comes through the grass, gets filtered by the grasses. There's lots of bivalves, oysters and clams here that also you know, filter the water as well. So it's a nice pristine water source, and if you look out here, you know, you can see, um, I mean as far as you can see really, there's, there are no houses, there's nothing out here. It's just the, you know, the waterway straight into Bulls Bay. Teresa drives the water from the bay to her house, just a few miles down the road, and evaporates it in one of her greenhouses. The result? A bunch of salt that needs to dry. The wet salt comes in, and we want it to be completely bone dry before we pack it because it's packaged by weight. So we use these, um, these little warmers, and basically what we have here is just a, a heat lamp and a fan. Mm -hmm. And then we put the salt in um, just to make sure that it gets nice and dry before we package it. So this is the Carolina Flake mm -hmm. that's in here drying. And uh, we don't leave it in here that long, just, you know, like I said, make sure that we're packaging it like according to the exact weight. And, you know, a lot of um, baking obviously is done by weight. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that people are getting like exactly what they're expecting yeah. um, from our packaging. After it's dried, Teresa packages it up and ships it out so customers can enjoy her spicy and smoky salt products. Watch Farm Her Fridays and Sundays at 9.30 p.m. Eastern on RFD-TV.